Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Sunil Bhatt and I'm director and clinical lead of uh, pediatric hematology oncology and bone marrow transplantation at Narayana Health City, Bangalore. Now, um, today I'm just going to be discussing in brief the process of unrelated blood stem cell donation. Now, we all know that blood and bone marrow transplant is a potential curative option for more than 100 disorders and most of these disorders are fatal and do not have any other potential curative option. So that makes it very important for this process of which is a curative option for most of these patients who require bone marrow transplant to cure them. Um, now, you know, when when we require a bone marrow transplant for one of these, some of these patients, only 25-30% of the times you will have one of the family members who is matching them. But about 70% of the times, you may not have anyone in the family to donate for these patients. And in good old days, you know, when we didn't have any other options, these patients will die of their, of their ailment. Now we have this option of unrelated donor transplant, wherein someone else, not in the family, but anywhere else in the same country, any other country, anywhere in the world, has got the same HLA typing as a patient has got and can donate for them. This is called unrelated blood donation process. Now how this process happens? Basically, we have got something called as bone marrow in our body, which is factory making all the blood cells in the body. We make It makes red cells, white cells, platelets, and it comes from the, the mother for these cells is called as stem cells. The stem cells are the source of these blood forming cells in the bone marrow. And nature has made this bone marrow very, very special. If we stimulate this bone marrow, if we stimulate the stem cells, the bone marrow, we can make more and more stem cells. And what happens is that when we make more and more stem cells in the bone marrow, these bone stem cells can come out of the bone marrow into the blood and they will circulate in the blood. And if we collect these stem cells from the blood, these stem cells can then be given to the patient and those stem cells, the patient, they go start growing in the bone marrow, multiply in the bone marrow and lead to a, you know, a healthy bone marrow in the patient as well. So we have done two things by this process. We have taken extra stem cells from the donor without any heavy impact, any impact on the donor. At the same time, these stem cells have been given to the patient who has has some problem with the bone marrow, there's a, there's a cancer in the bone marrow, there's some any other disease in the bone marrow. These have gone into the patient's body, made their home in the bone marrow of the patient, start multiplying and give rise to a normal healthy marrow in the patient. Now how this process happens, so for the donor, unrelated donor, once you know we know that the unrelated donor is healthy, he can donate, he's free from infections and other things, which is it's not harmful for him any in any other respect. We select the donor and, and get him ready for the for the for the donation process. The donation process involves three to four days of injection growth factor. So it's a it's a it's a small injection which is given as we give insulin in diabetic patients. So you know a small prick underneath the skin. They can give it themselves, they can get a nurse to do it, a doctor to do it, a hospital to do it. It's a very, you know, a, a simple process of pricking underneath the skin and giving the small dose of growth factor. What it does is that increases the stem cells, as I said earlier, in the bone marrow and they go into the blood circulation of the patient. And the number of stem cells goes up after four to five days. Then we connect these donors, they come to the hospital for donation process. We connect them to a machine which is called as epheresis machine. So what happens is epheresis machine is that the blood from the donor goes into the machine, it circulates in the machine, the, the machine spins this blood, removes the stem cells which are extra in the patient of donor's blood and the rest of the blood goes back to the to the donor. So it's a very safe process, it takes two to three hours, it's an outpatient process a really patient, sorry, the donor doesn't really lose anything because uh, we have taken these extra stem cells from the from the blood of the donor, and the rest of the blood has gone back into the into the donor. It is of course a mild inconvenience because you are getting this prick for three to four days, and maybe those three to four hours of the donation process you have to come to the hospital and get it collected. That's the only I would say the inconvenience which the, which the donor goes through. There is no long term or short term major side effect of this process. What can we expect as a side effect is 
mild because of this growth factor they can sometimes experience mild pain which can be controlled easily with paracetamol or most of the time they don't need anything but sometimes you can need paracetamol to control that pain which is mild discomfort in the body and the, when we collect the stem cells as i said it's a collection which happens like a blood donation you, of course they will have to have a prick in their arm so that's again an inconvenience to them but after they've donated the the stem cells they can next day go to the work start their whatever they're doing they don't need to take any bed rest or anything for a few days or not nothing like that they can go back to work and start their normal routine from the next day onwards so um, in summary our later donor donor for our later donors the stem cell donation process is absolutely safe it is very convenient um, mild in convenience terms of maybe losing two to three hours of work and the skin the prick they get on the skin but i think that is worth the the the, the benefit or the, the the gift they give to somebody's life to somebody by by saving their life because somebody who's getting those stem cells is fighting a life-threatening dreaded disease which will be cured only with bone marrow transplantation so i appeal everyone all the healthy donors to come forward, register themselves as unrelated donors and make a difference in somebody's life who can be saved by their stem cells. Thank you very much.